Wow. Wow. I don't think anyone expected this. So this is Tony Cruz's statements as he bids adieu, not only to Real Madrid, but to football. So, as I've always said, Real Madrid is and will be my last club. It's big time. So he ain't going back to Germany, nor going back to his boyhood club. This is going to be his last club. July 17, 2014. The day of my presentation at Real Madrid. The day that changed my life. My life as a footballer, but especially as a person, is the start of a new chapter at the biggest club in the world. After 10 years, at the end of this of the season, you know, 10 years is a nice number, this chapter comes to an end. I will never forget that insolent success full time. All right. I would particularly like to thank everyone that's welcomed me with an open heart and trusted me. But especially, I'd like to thank you, dear Madridistas, for your affection and your love from the first day until the last one. At the same time, this decision means that my career as an active footballer will end this summer after the Euro Championship. Interesting. I'm happy and proud that in my mind I found the right timing for my decision and that I could choose it by my own. My ambition was always to finish my career at the peak of my performance level. That's key. From now on, there's only one leading thoughts. A por la 15. A la Madrid y nada más. So I think it's, it's that Quinte or something like that. Quinte or something like that. So... But I think a key thing there is my ambition was always to finish my career at the peak of my performance level. I think that's just very key. Because sometimes people hang on for too long. Great hang on for too long. Not naming any names. Um, he's going out to the high. And there is a great chance he's going to go out. He's going to end his Real Madrid career with two dubs, a La Liga and a UCL, you know. So as he's leaving, because you know, whenever we look at people's careers, we look at the entire careers, but what do we really do? Yes, we look at the entire careers, but we look at how you ended your career because we have recency bias. And even if you are great and you ended your career like a brick, it doesn't really take away. So look, we clown Buffon and how the, the guy was making mistakes and looked like a, a geriatric towards the end. But once we get... A, and we have recently bars, we now look at the entirety of your career and we always lean towards the positive side. But it does look better if you end on a high. It takes nothing away, but let's keep it a stack. Let's say you have two great players. One player ends his career on a high, one ends his career on a down note. You will favor the dude that's ended his career on a high. That's just facts. That's just, just facts. And sometimes it's difficult to end it because my reaction to this, my initial reaction was, I don't care how old you are, you've been one of Real's best players this season. You're going to be an asset for Germany this summer. So what the hell are you, are, are you doing? But you know when the time is right. He's well into his 30s now. And as you say, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. And I think because he knows that, look, what a way to end it. For Real Madrid. What a way to end this. Because I've had a season where I've been the main alpha midfielder when I was always the kind of side chick to Modric. Modric has pretty much been the bench player. I've been much more of an active um, player here. So I think I can understand it. I still feel he can go on. I still feel the world has changed and dieting, nutrition, more technology means that conditioning is better. So um, the way that Tony Cruz plays, his high intelligence, his technique, he can play till 36, 37 very easily. But here's the thing. That's why I admire his decision here. Modric does look a bit funny in a few games. Some games look amazing, but other games like he's getting old. And I think Tony Cruz never wants any image of his career to be like, yeah, this guy look, looks old. Oh, he needs to re retire. We've never at any point in the increasing career said, yeah, this guy look, looks washed, bro. I think he needs to retire. Never. So when he looks back at his career, he'll be like, bro, it was supreme. It was serene. And so he's, he's got his La Ligas. He's got his UCLs. Um, and he's got that World Cup. He's got that World Cup. You know, um, he 
Obviously, Schweinsteiger was the main midfielder. He was a critical member of that team. Didn't he drop two dubs against Brazil in that um, Brazilian shakedown? Bro, in that Brazilian undressing shakedown colonization, I think he dropped two Gs in the, in the first half. So not only did you win the World Cup, you were a key member in the most infamous football match in history. It was a match when Brazil gave, gave, gave bet. So you were an intricate member as to why Brazil are looking at the likes of Anthony, Rafinha, and Richarlison to lead them to a WC. So, so he's key. You played a huge part. And let's be real. We all chase the World Cup. That's the number one prize. That is the number one prize. Once we get that WC, well, we're good. Look at Messi. Man, Messi's is high. He's, he's chilling out, um, clowning on freaking the Mississippi Rapids and freaking Miami because he knows that I'm good. I've, I've got that WC. So him winning that WC, not being a side chick, being a main member and a starter, oh, well, good. But we all like Disney Plus, guys. Let's be real. We all like Disney Plus and we like to subscribe to Disney Plus. We all do. Just one more. In the famous words of the T800 and um, T2, it's one more chip, one more. Still one more to complete the set. This, you, you, you couldn't write a better script. You couldn't write, write a better script. Coming out of retirement, a Euro tournament on home soil, and winning the only medal you've not won yet on home soil. You couldn't write a better script. So it's almost too good of a script that I'm almost certain Germany won't win the Euro. Like, based on just what it's now everything has now done and then happened with him saying that this like the Euros is gonna be his final tournament. It ain't happening. It's too perfect of a story. Like I would never now I'm never betting on Germany. Now I'm almost certain Germany is gonna win the Euros because it's too perfect. Because we're assuming they're getting that to Real Madrid, that UCL Doba at Wembley. And you're saying that you're gonna your final game is going to be in Germany at the Euros, and you win it on a home soil, and that is your final game of your career, it's too perfect. It is too perfect. So that's why I doubt that's going to happen. You know, but crazier things have happened. Cra like, I'll give you a round of that. Crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened. So, um, look, we'll, we'll see, but all I'm, but to, to your boy, Tony Cruz, though, look, he's, he is, I want to now say this afterwards, because I think once enough for the retires, then we can now really have a retrospective. But so my thing, though, is, is it the right decision? Initially, I said no. I was like, what? Then I thought about it. And I was like, sometimes the best decisions are the most difficult ones. You know, it's like that boxer that's you're winning, 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 and like, let me keep going, let me keep, keep going. And the difficulty is quitting because you're on a high. But like Muhammad Ali, you should have quit early. You kept on going, kept on going. It took nothing away from you. You're still the greatest sports person of all time. But sometimes the hardest decision is the right decision. Sometimes the hardest decision is no, quit now. What's the saying? Quit while you're ahead. So Tony Cruz is like, I don't want the lasting memory of me to be of what we saw of Buffon, where the guy was barely hanging on and looked like a full-on geriatric who escaped from an old folks home. Like, I don't want to look like Mr. Bonds from The Simpsons. You know, I don't, I don't want to look, look like that. I want the lasting memory I want the lasting memory to me being having a man of the match performance in the Euro final that leads my country to a Euro dub on home soil. And if that happens, that is Disney plus, plus, plus to the power of 80.